Hey guys, what's going on? Well, here we are again, talking diesel. Uh, I had a conversation the other day, yesterday as a matter of fact, with a couple of fellows, and they asked me about the propane injection that I put on this diesel pull tractor. Um, so it occurred to me that I forgot to mention that in the last video. Um, so I'll show you here what we got. We've got one of those <clears throat> sort of uh, for, for a camping barbecue, a little propane canister, regulator, uh, electric solenoid valve so I can flip it on when I'm ready. Um, so what I found is that it really, I don't feel like it really did a whole lot. Um, it's my understanding that the propane um, is supposed to add a little fuel economy. It helps the diesel fuel to burn more completely you get a little bit more miles per gallon. There's, there's, there's some guys that use it on the road, on the highway, guys that are towing and whatnot. Um, now that's cool. If you're looking for fuel economy, that's, that's a good thing. Um, I'm not really all that interested in fuel economy. If you're interested in fuel economy, uh, tractor pulling is not for you then. Um, so I did try it. The last time I pulled this, I did try the propane and I really don't think it did much as far as power goes. I, I honestly don't. Um, I don't know a, a whole lot about it. I'm, I'm learning as I go here. So by no means am I an expert about this. However, I don't feel like it did much. Um, I have, I have heard guys say that it, can cause you more damage than than it can um, <clears throat> give you more power. So I think the next few pulls I'm gonna just leave it off. I'm not gonna bother with it because I don't really think it did much. Um, it really wasn't all that expensive to do. It didn't really cost me much. I might have fifty dollars invested here. Um, so. We're going to leave that alone for the next wee while. I'm sure there's guys out there that know more about this than me and maybe they can help me out, but we're going to, we're going to learn as we go here. That's, that's the thing. So obviously I found the key. So what we're going to start this up for you and just let you see how it looks now. Okay guys, there it is. So as you can see, 
we were making a fair bit of smoke. I think you could see that anyway. Um, I didn't rev it up very much and we were getting five to seven pounds of boost. Um, you got to put a good load on it to build more boost, but that part's working well. I'm, I'm very pleased with that. So as you probably noticed, as far as the propane injection goes, we've created more questions than we have answers really. Um, so let's call this uh, yet to be determined. We're going to see what happens. Now you're going to get lots of people telling you different things. Everybody you talk to is going to say something different. And I take all that into consideration when I'm trying these things, but I'm one of those guys that has to try it for myself. I try it and see what it does. I don't study things. I never studied in high school. Why would I start studying now? I try it. I fail. I try again. That's how I do things. So take all that into consideration. You'll probably have noticed that uh, I locked the wastegate on this turbo. I had somebody say to me, man, you're gonna blow that engine up doing that. What the hell's wrong with you? My response to that was, and if you're worried about blowing up an engine, I think maybe you should take up gardening instead of tractor pulling. Um, I'm not concerned about that. Uh, what I'm concerned about is the wastegate opening and not closing again. As far as, as far as what I what I can see is what's the worst that's going to happen? Blow the hose off. So what? That's a, that's okay. So, having said all that, it can take you an entire season to dial in a pole tractor when you first build it. At least that's been my experience. And I started this just as COVID was, was hitting. So we, I haven't used it that much. I got to try it on different tracks, tight tracks, loose tracks, you know, different things. I'm not really going to know until the end of the season. And at the end of the season, I'm going to decide what my next move is. All right, guys. Well, there you have it. We're up in uh, Ilderton, Ontario on Friday, this Friday coming. That's always a good time. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to get some good footage there, hopefully. Stay tuned, guys. Subscribe. Hit the notification button. Talk to you soon.